Hey everyone, so today I'm going to build a full stack to do list application using cursor. So I'm going to build the front end using react and I'm going to build the back end using express and node.js and I'm going to do the whole thing using cursor here. I'm going to do it as like pretty much build the whole thing from scratch and yeah, build it as fast as possible. Let's get into it. Um, chat. I want to build a full stack to do list. Front end in React and back end in Express. I think even with that simple prompt, let's see what it could generate us. So it's giving us the 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 folder structure. So they want to set up a Folder structure like that, sure, I'm gonna let that run. Oh. Okay. This is crazy, okay. It wants us, oh, it's just telling us this is the folder structure. So let's build the basic Express app. So can I enter? look over it quickly in memory everything to do or a get request a post request a put a put request a delete and then okay now it wants us to build the react react component so I'll apply both of these file so it built the react component add some basic styling sure is this going to apply up both of these or just one Whatever. Trust the process. Okay, we have we have uh, the basic front end and the basic back end. Now we actually have to set up the back end. Okay, we'll just it's gonna run it. Okay. Create the React front end. Mm, I don't want to use Create React app. It's just something more lightweight. Don't really want to use Create React app. It's a little bit outdated. I don't want to use create react app is there anything else like wait okay yeah yep I like white run What did delete? Okay, deleted some. Okay, now we have our front end and our back end. Cool. We're using Vite. Okay, it deleted the to do. So we'll just say, we'll say add context and we'll say, or can you create the to do app in the client? So we like literally went from an empty text editor. We're running things on the terminal. So apply that. Okay. Yep. Command for command Y. Accept all. Actually build the command. Except. Except file. Oh, these are, it's giving you different options. Okay. Create the styles. Cool. 
Now let's see what this actually looks like. Now it's even showing us how to run and it didn't run. Or, okay, we should be in the client CV. Not run. Now let's look at this. Oh, wow, it looks good too. Okay. Dude, this is entirely from scratch. Okay, getting a cores error and stuff. Let's just like, I, I mean, we didn't even start the back end yet. So let's just start the back end. How do I start the back end? Dude, people could build anything with this actually. Now we're starting the back end. Is it started yet? Still cores. Okay, what did it do? Look at how much code it generated. CD server. Um, let's just add this here. Yep, let's run that. Let's run this. And let's run dev. Okay, we need to CD into the server. Let's run the dev. Crashing. Oh, because something's already in use. Okay, let me let me close all these again, and then we're gonna we're gonna start the servers. And let's just ask the AI to do it. Can you? Okay, cool. Yep. This is proper. It's actually telling us to like. Something else is listening to 5,000. We need to kill that one. Or let me run it on like 4,000 or something. Okay, run it again. Something's running on port 5K. Port. Can you refactor the code? This is pure AI generated. Okay, we're gonna use port 3000 now. And then it's saying we need to, we have to up, update our files here. That makes sense. To use port 3000 instead. Okay. Now reload everything. Now we can't, now it's, it's, it's working. It's talking to the front end, it's talking to the back end, sending post requests to it. Let's see, post request. But now we can't see anything here, but we can delete. Hello. Hi. Okay, now we need to find that bug. Let's see if we can just copy and paste it here. What happens if you solve it? Oh, it's just the, the fonts are bad. The font is bad. I need the, oh, you could just, this is crazy. The font doesn't appear. Okay, this is not. Okay, apply. Refresh, there you go. Now we have to do this. Go do groceries. Um, 
laundry. Then you could like be, I did I did my laundry, I did my groceries. And you can see like it's hitting our back end on running on local host. Um, what else? Yeah, this is crazy. Um, let's 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 add one more feature. Can you introduce like light and dark mode laundry and be like um, check in air DNB deletes work. If you refresh, if you refresh, it goes on there. If you create a new website and go in there, it's still there. Um, now let's add another feature. Be like create light dark dark mode for to do app. This is something I actually don't really know how to do, so let's see. Dude, this is crazy. Yeah, that makes sense. Create a context provider. So we can apply that. Do a new team provider. Command Y Y Y. Command Y Y. Accept. 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 Did the CSS command Y? Update the global styles command Y. Okay, let's see. Let's see how it looks. Okay, there's a night and dark mode. Not working. Mm. It's getting close. Or oh, I, I didn't accept certain things. Accept why? That's I'm kind of getting annoying that I have to. Okay. Let's see how it works. Wow. I mean, I want the whole ba like the whole background should turn white, but. Look at that, it's like a, it's a beautiful a animation. <laughs> like, okay, wait. Let's see, the whole background should turn black too. The only thing is you won't be able to debug this if you don't know how to code, because you can't verify. Dude, this is nuts. Okay, apply. 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 Oh, like, I want the whole thing. The mission. Okay, wait, I need to. Why? Okay, there you go. What? Okay, it's still buggy. Let's see. This is not proper dark mode. Fix this. This is dark mode. Okay, 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 okay. Let's see. Apply. Accept everything. Okay, that part's working, but like, why is this background? Why is why is this background not working right here? Let's 
see why is this still white here? It's like it looks like it's a reverse. Oh, okay, never mind. This is um, when in dark mode. Let's see what it does. Accept, accept, accept. Accept, accept, accept. Okay. Okay, this thing's just tweaking still. Still tweaking. I want it to get the whole background. Nah, I'd have to debug that myself now. Okay, it looks like it still has some pitfalls. Okay, I'll debug that myself, but look, it, it has a light mode, but this annoying part in the background. I think this is just the background color. Yeah, don't want to make this video too long, but um, let's see if it works in mobile and stuff. Let's see if they make it, they made it responsive. So let's do, let's, let's say we're on a Pixel 7. Go night mode, go dark mode. It looks good on a Pixel. And yeah, if you refresh, everything still stays there. You can delete. Nice. Oh, yeah. Okay, simple to do app. How long did that take? About less than 15 minutes. And yeah, I'll probably, yeah, I would just have to debug it. But let's see what other crazy stuff that I can make really fast with this.